When one thinks of humans transforming into anthropomorphic wolves, it's usually a male afflicted by a curse or a virus that causes the transformation. Although most movies, games, and werewolf series feature male shapeshifters, there's also a wide variety of female werewolves in fiction. In fact, there are numerous stories of female werewolves that are as terrifying as the most unsettling tales of men turning into wolves. These female werewolves compete with their male counterparts in many movies and even manage to be stronger than some of them. For this reason, here I bring you the top 10 most dangerous, powerful, and beautiful female werewolves. Number 10. Lori. Trick or Treat. Lori is a young woman who, along with her sister Danielle and their friends Maria and Janet, deceives and lures men to their deaths on Halloween night, as they are all werewolves. Initially, Lori appears to be an insecure, anxious, and vulnerable young woman who fears sexuality and men in general. However, she is in reality a cunning and bloodthirsty werewolf. She deliberately entices Wilkins to a party in the forest, where she can transform into a werewolf, kill him, and devour him thus losing her virginity in a twisted rite of passage. Number 9. Megan, Dog Soldiers Megan is a zoologist and a forcibly adopted member of the U.S. family who turned her into a werewolf. She went to the Scottish Highlands to seek evidence of werewolves, but found herself unable to leave after being infected with lycanthropy. She assisted Captain Richard Ryan with his werewolf capture project by providing him with knowledge of the area, though she seemingly was not aware of his true loyalties. Later, she saved Harry and his men, including Lawrence Cooper. Believing they could help, she led them to the U.S. family farmhouse. During the siege, she fought alongside them against the werewolves. Ultimately, she turned against the remaining soldiers and tricked them into destroying the barn before transforming. Wells shot her in the eye mid-transformation, but she survived the attack and only died when Wells detonated the farmhouse. Number 8. Sonia, Skinwalkers. Sonia is the villain in the 2007 film Skinwalkers. She is the only female member of a group of evil werewolves led by Vark, who was once known as Caleb and is married to the protagonist Rachel. Sonia was once human and lived a terrible life, but was turned into a werewolf by Vark. Since then, Sonia has become Verk's lover and has shown devotion to him and the group's cause, which is to continue living as werewolves. Part of their mission included plans to kill young Timothy, who is the son of Rachel and Caleb. When Sonia learns the truth about Timothy, she personally takes on the mission due to her hatred towards Rachel. In the climax of the film, the evil Sonia attempts to kill Timothy and Rachel, only to be shot by Timothy. Sonia was weakened by the shot, but it was Rachel's own shot that ultimately killed Sonia. Number 7. Ginger Fitzgerald Ginger Snaps Ginger Ann Fitzgerald is a teenager infected by a werewolf and the main antagonist in Ginger Snaps. She is the sister of Bridget Fitzgerald. Originally, Ginger was a morbid girl who, along with her sister Bridget, loved to rebel against societal norms with violent and gruesome activities, most of which were staged and designed simply to shock more conventional people. She also has a caring yet aggressive attitude towards Bridget, making her overprotective of her. However, Ginger's life changed forever one night when she was attacked by what she believed to be a rabid dog, which was actually a werewolf. Ginger became infected with a virus that slowly transformed her into a werewolf. As the virus took over her body, she became wilder, more animalistic and sexually active, starting to develop wolf-like features such as a tail, ears, and excessive body hair. Ginger also began to lose her sanity and infected others with a virus which could be transmitted through sex or a wound. She also became a ruthless killer. Meanwhile, her sister was a witness and became trapped in this nightmarish scenario, having to accept the fact that she would have to kill Ginger to prevent a widespread outbreak of the werewolf virus. At the end of the film, Ginger fully transforms into a werewolf and attacks Bridget, who manages to calm the wild beast before stabbing her, killing Ginger but holding her in her arms as she cries over her death. Ginger returns as a spirit in the second film and looks after her sister now cursed with lycanthropy as she fights for her life alongside a girl named Ghost. Ginger also has a more heroic role in the prequel film, which narrows the past lives of Ginger and Bridget. Number 6. Seraphine Piggott 
an American werewolf in Paris. Seraphine Piggott is the daughter of Alex Price and David Kessler. Like her father, she suffers from lycanthropy. She is also the stepdaughter of Dr. Thierry Piggott and the wife of Andy McDermott. Seraphine was born nine months after her father's death. Knowing the trauma that David went through, Alex sought to cure her cursed daughter. At some point, they had to leave London and move to Paris, where she raised Seraphine. Later in life, Alex married a doctor who agreed to help cure Seraphine. Growing up, Seraphine might have had a relationship with Claude, another werewolf who owns a nightclub called Club de la Lune, who, unlike Seraphine, Claude was full of arrogance as a werewolf. In 1997, Dr. Piggott apparently developed a cure that, instead of curing her, caused her to transform immediately, resulting in Alex's death and Piggott being mutilated and infected. Filled with guilt, Seraphine attempts to put an end to her condition by jumping from the Eiffel Tower. However, she is stopped by Andy McDermott, an American tourist who tries to perform daring stunts with his friends Brad and Chris. Andy tries to talk to Seraphine from the ledge but falls with her. Brad and Chris tie a bungee cord, and Andy performs an aerial rescue. Seraphine lands safely on the ground, but Andy is knocked unconscious when he hits his head against the tower. Andy is hospitalized and becomes mesmerized by Seraphine. He has Brad and Chris look for a note Seraphine might have had. When the note is found, Andy finds Seraphine's house and asks her out on a date. Several months after the events of the movie, Seraphine and Andy get married in New York, while Bungie jumping from the Statue of Liberty. During the wedding, they nearly lose their ring but manage to catch it while jumping from the statue. In an alternate ending after Andy eats Claude's heart, Seraphine has a vision of her stepfather in the back of an ambulance, explaining how he found a cure before his death. The new closing scene shows Seraphine and Andy having a child whose eyes change to resemble those of werewolves. Number 5. Joni. Cursed. Joni is the secondary antagonist in the 2005 horror film Cursed. Originally a publicist, Jake Taylor cursed her with lycanthropy during a one-night stand but later rejected her. She decided to take revenge on Jake by killing the women he was interested in and was ultimately killed while attempting to murder his then-love interest, Ellie Myers. Before the events of the film, Joni went on a couple of dates with Jake Taylor and the two had a one-night stand. Unbeknownst to Joni, Jake was a werewolf and he transmitted lycanthropy to her during their sexual encounter. Despite falling for Jake, he told Joni that he was not ready for a relationship. Feeling rejected and cursed with lycanthropy forever, Joni decided to take revenge on Jake by targeting anyone he cared for. She transforms into a werewolf and begins to attack siblings Ellie and Jimmy, who fight back. At one point, Joni runs and hides when the police arrive. The heroes lure her out of hiding by taunting her, and she responds by flipping them off. The police shoot at Joni, but they fail to kill her because they do not hit her brain or heart. Joni gets up, and a policeman shoots her in the head, finally killing her. When animal control was brought to the scene, they found that Joni had reverted to her human form. Number 4. Casey Spencer. Full Eclipse. Casey Spencer was a member of a vigilante police group known as The Pack, which consisted of werewolf hybrids. She encounters Max Dyer and tries to convince him to join The Pack, even going as far as having an intimate encounter with Max at the home of Adam Garu, Casey's lover and the leader of The Pack. During their passionate encounter, the evil Casey transformed into a werewolf, sprouting fangs and long claws. After their encounter, Casey attempts to offer Max a serum that would make him like her and the rest of the pack, but Max refuses. Casey then shoots him and injects him with a serum, causing his wounds to heal. Later that night, Casey and Max embark on their own mission, to locate a drug cartel's operations center. Both transform and storm the scene, tearing through Teague's men. The drug dealers unload their weapons on them, but to no avail, and Casey and Max end up killing the entire group. Casey returns to Adam's attic and faces his wrath when he learns about what happened between her and Max. Casey ends up being assaulted by Adam. Later in the film, during Max's confrontation with Adam, Casey decides to be with Max instead of Adam, and both jump through a window to escape Adam's fury. The fall injures both, 
but knowing they don't have enough serum to heal both, Casey gives all of it to Max, stating that she has been trying to stay off it for a long time. As a result, Max ends up healed while Casey succumbs to her injuries. Number 3. Marsha Quist The Howling Marsha Quist was a werewolf and a nymphomaniac living in the community known as the Colony in the Hills of Northern California in the early 1980s. She lived in a small two-story cabin with her brothers Eddie and TC, who, like everyone else residing in the colony, were also werewolves. As a naturist, Marcia confessed that she was the most primal of the Quist siblings and often found herself at odds with the colony's founder, Dr. George Wagner. Wagner attempted to use his psychological knowledge to tame the werewolves, providing them with the means to adapt and leave within normal human society concepts that Marcia found detestable. Marcia was tasked with seducing Bill to bring him into the wolf pack by infecting him and turning him into her mate. In 1981, news anchor Karen White and her husband Bill Neal arrived at the colony for Karen to recover from an encounter with a serial killer who turned out to be Marcia's brother, Eddie. Bill met Marcia on his first night at the colony while he was looking for his wife. A few nights later, Bill Neal and TC were hunting when Bill shot a rabbit. At TC's suggestion, they took it to Marcia so she could cook it for him. Marcia showed little interest in the rabbit and instead forced herself upon Bill and kissed him. Bill pushed her away, but Marcia's appetite could not be denied. That night, Bill was attacked and bitten by a werewolf, possibly Marcia. On the night of the full moon, Marcia waits for Bill by a bonfire, and when he arrives, she smiles at him. Both strip off their clothes and begin to mate as Marcia and Bill transform. Karen eventually learned what had happened and confronted Marcia. When Karen asked Marcia where Bill was and what she had done to him, Marcia proudly exclaimed that Bill was now one of them. Soon, Karen and her co-worker Chris Halloran discovered the truth about the colony and its werewolf residents. Chris managed to lock many of them in a barn and then set the building on fire, but Marcia escaped the blaze. She was later seen in a local diner ordering a raw hamburger. Number 2. Elena Michaels, Bitten Elena Antonov Michaels is the only known female werewolf and the lover of the werewolf pack's bodyguard Clayton Danvers, with whom she has twin children, Logan and Catherine. Elena currently resides in New York and is the reigning alpha of the North American werewolf pack. She is described as slender tall with a typically athletic build, standing at about 5'3 feet tall with blue eyes and whitish blonde hair that reaches down to the middle of her back. Elena has demonstrated an unusual control over her transformation, as she cannot be involuntarily transformed by pain, fear, or intoxication, and can halt her transformation if it starts, which is impossible for other werewolves once their transformation begins, as it cannot be stopped by any werewolf's will or change in circumstances. Elena is a very tough and quick-tempered woman. She does not let men think they can leave her behind. She knows her place and protects it with utmost dignity. She is highly protective of her mate Clay, yet she is very stubborn with him at first. No matter what happens, she always protects her pack, even if it means sacrificing her own life. Number 1. Sturba, Howling 2 Sturba is a 10,000-year-old sorceress and the queen of all werewolves. She kept her werewolf coven within a castle in the mountains of Transylvania. Here, she conducted various occult rituals that included blood sacrifices and groups of intimate encounters. In the 1980s, Sturba had become elderly and required the blood of the lamb to maintain her youth and beauty. Sturba's greatest nemesis was the werewolf hunter Stefan Krosko, whom she referred to as her brother and her beloved. Stefan was aware of the power at Sturba's command and took measures to combat her werewolf coven whenever possible. Stefan knew that silver would not be enough to kill any werewolf from Sturba's coven. To destroy them once and for all, he needed titanium weapons. When Stefan and his companions arrived in Transylvania to hunt Sturba, she used her mystical powers to thwart their efforts. She used a siren-like howl to disrupt the equilibrium of a dwarf hunter named Vassile. The power of her voice was so potent that it literally made Vassile's eyes burst out of his head. When a priest named Father Florin invaded her domain, Sturba caused the gargoyle on her mystical staff to come to life and attack him, ultimately killing him. 
Stefan had his final confrontation with Sturba in her throne room. Sturba tried to control Stefan with her powers, but he managed to get close enough to stab Sturba in the heart with a titanium dagger. The magical energy within Sturba exploded out, and both Stefan and she burst into flames. The two died still struggling to defeat each other. Hey, don't go just yet. If you enjoyed my video, I'd love to recommend another one for you to watch.